Well, that's casual. I lost it. Um, just kidding. No, I didn't. Woo! Today's video is going to be the best of 2013 tag and this was created by Bethany Moda or MacBarbio7. She created the best of 2012 tag but I decided to bring it back into the best of 2013 tag. It's basically the same exact tag just with a different name but it's still the same thing and I did this last year so I figured I would do it again just to kind of, I don't know, I guess I could make this little tradition on oh, my channel, I'll do these every year, maybe, don't know. But um, yeah, I have all the questions on my iPad right now so we're just gonna get right into the tag and I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So the first category is beauty and the first one is face product. So the main face product that I've been using for like a lot of 2013 actually it was more towards the end of 2013 but it's the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation and I first discovered this from Kenzie or Kenzie Elizabeth here on YouTube and she's probably gonna laugh because like I mentioned her a lot but um... Yeah, I found this out from Kenzie, and I love this foundation. It works so great. I'm wearing it now. I wear it every day. It's my favorite foundation, and I just love this foundation. So that's been, like, my favorite foundation or face product for the whole year. I just love it. It topped any foundation I used this year. Number two is cheek product, and I chose a bronzer because I've been using this bronzer so much. I don't use blush all the time, but this bronzer has been used a lot this year. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and it's just the one in milk. No, it's in chocolate, and this works so great. It's such an amazing bronzer, and I swear by it, so I love this bronzer. It's definitely been, like, my go-to cheek product. I'm in love with it. The next one is eye product, so I chose a palette, and the main palette that I used for like this year was the Lorac Pro Palette. I use it to fill in my eyebrows, I use it for like basically all my eyeshadows, except today I use the Naked 3, but before I was using, always using this or the Naked 2, but I showed the Naked 2 last year, so I decided to change it up, so I think I showed Naked 2 last year. I could be lying, but um, whatever, so... Yeah, I've been using this one like non-stop. It's my favorite. I'm in love with it and it works so great and yeah, I just love the Lark Pro Palette. It has 12, maybe 16 shades and yeah, it has 16. There's definitely more than 12 there and I just really love this palette. It works so great and yeah, there's just so many different shades so it's been a favorite of mine for the year. The next one is a lip product and my favorite lip product has been the MAC Angel Lipstick and this was my favorite at the beginning of the year then I stopped using it and then I rediscovered it because of Kenzie and yeah I'm just in love with it. It's such a great lip lipstick and I've used quite a bit of it. I use it all the time. I have it on right now. It's just such a great lipstick and I'm obsessed. So it's definitely been like my 2013 lipstick. It's such a great lipstick and it'll probably be my 2014 lipstick because nothing tops it. Next one is nail polish and my nail polish that I was using a lot of 2013 was this black one and it is Sally Hansen Tardis Nails Blackout and I don't always paint my nails but when I do it's usually black or like a dark color so I just chose a black. I don't know why I just really love dark colors on my nails. They just look so much better so this black nail polish has been like my favorite and yeah, I don't know why I keep saying favorite. This isn't a favorites video, but whatever. The next one is hair product, and my go-to 2013 hair product was this Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and here's how much I have left. I've used like half of a container, which is actually really good because I've had this like all year, and I've only used half, and I use it on like my ends of my hair, and it is what has helped my hair grow. So I recommend it if you're trying to grow out your hair. If you go watch my last year's video, my hair was like up to here. Like it was very short. So it grew that much in a year. Like that's kind of crazy. So I'm excited to see how long my hair is next year. But um, yeah, it's just, it works so great and it, it smells so good. I don't really know how to describe it, but it smells really amazing. So this has been like my 2013 hair product by far. And then the last one in the beauty category is the body product or perfume. And I chose a perfume. The perfume I chose is the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Perfume, and I got this for Christmas last year, so 2012, and I was just in love with it. I use, I've been using this so much, and I don't really use it that much anymore now that I got new perfumes for Christmas, but this has been like my go-to perfume, and it's like halfway gone, so that's kind of crazy, but yes, I love this perfume. It smells so great. I don't really know how to describe it, but I love it. So that's been like my 2013 perfume. Definitely, like that's what I smelled like all 2013. Number five is clothing piece, and for clothing piece, I chose flannels. Basically, all 2014, 2013, I wore flannels. I just love flannels. I have another one right here. This one's just like a purple and like bluish one. 
I don't know, it's not that cute. I like this one so much better. And this one is from Person Mall. I will link it down below. You guys should check them out because I'm in love with this most softest flannel ever. I love it. So, yeah, this flannel is from Person Mall. But flannels are just like my overall obsession. I love them. Love. Number 10 is accessories. So I chose scarves for accessories. And this scarf is just from Forever 21. I got it a long time ago though. It's just like one of those that you like rub around and you'd be swaggish. I'm just kidding, but um, yeah, it's like a huge chunky knit scarf and I just love scarves. So yeah, 2013 favorite was scarves because why not? Number 11 is pair of shoes and I'm going to have to go with my white Converse. <sighs> I love Converse. Converse are my life. Converse are my love. Love, love Converse. So these Converse, these Converse weren't necessarily my 2013 pair because I just got these in like September, November, September, September. I got it in September and yeah, so I wouldn't really say like these were my 2013 pair of shoes, but like Converse in general you feel. Yeah. For the random category, which is my favorite because I'm a pretty random person, number 12 is favorite TV show slash movie. My favorite 2013 TV show was Vampire Diaries. I love Vampire Diaries. Such a good show. So amazing. And then if I had to choose another one, it'd probably be The Carrie Diaries. That's also a really good show. Love both of those. And then The Fosters. My god, do I have a life? <sighs> Guess not. And then, um, for movie, I'm gonna choose a movie too. Um, for movie, I'm probably gonna go with... LOL. The movie LOL, I've, which is, um, with Miley Cyrus in it. That movie is so good. I've seen it maybe over 50 times just in the summer alone. That was definitely my 2013 movie. It just... It's like, I love, like, love movies because I'm a really... I'm a huge hopeless romantic and that movie is so cute and... I just love it, and Miley Cyrus is like my favorite human ever, so that movie is really good. Number 13 is favorite book. My favorite book was probably Catching Fire. I love that book, and it's a really great book, so I guess it'll win the category as favorite book for 2013. Number 14 is favorite food, and my favorite food has been salad. Whose favorite food is ever salad? I don't know why, but like this year I discovered a love for salad. Ask my family. I'm always having salad. It's really weird. I don't know. And it's not even like I'm eating it to be healthy or anything. It's just like I I overall love salad. It's so strange and I just love salad. So salad. Number 15, the next one is beverage. Probably water or lemonade. Iced water, not regular water. I loved iced water. And then lemonade. Lemonade. Mm, favorite drink, hands down. Love lemonade. Love, love, love. Number 16 is favorite song. Favorite song for 2013. Oh, hmm. Drop in the Ocean by Ron Pope. That was like a song that I went, listened to a lot and basically anything by Ed Sheeran. Um, I went through a phase where I just really liked sad music. And I don't know why, I just really liked sad music. And then also anything by Somo, of course, but I wasn't going to say him just because I really like, he really became my favorite singer towards the end of 2013. But basically anything by Somo and if I had to choose it'd probably be Show Off by Somo or Hearts of Divine. I love those two. And yeah, so that is all for the best of 2013 tag. This video is really long, I'm sorry. And I tag everyone who wants to do this. If you guys do it, please leave it down below by linking it or just comment your answers down below because I'll have the questions so you can just comment the answers because that'd be really cool. I hope you guys know this video and also I'm going to be checking my P.O. box soon so if you guys want to send me letters or like anything, you can send it. It's written down below and I'll have it on the screen right here and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at VivaGlamSasha. I guess my main favorite of 2013 was YouTube. Like being able to like discover so many things, like all the opportunities I've gotten because of YouTube, the friends I made, the subscribers in everything like you like my subscribers are honestly like the best subscribers i love you guys two pieces and i wish i could meet all of you guys and i cannot wait to meet some of you next month at la imats which i am going to so comment down below if you're going to la imats and yeah i love you guys so much like you guys don't even understand how much i love you guys i hope you guys have a great day and bye guys